There's a little part of me that's always rooting for Peach because Peach is such a silly character. Wild combo game. Some of the best movement in this entire game. And then, of course, you got turnips. You got item throwing. You got random nonsense. Sometimes you're not playing a little hot. You're a little stinky on the controller. It's okay. Stitch face. Mm, not here. This is Peach's kingdom. These are her rules. And, in fact, turnip pull, I think, is a phenomenal tool to have in this matchup. You'll have something that forces Palutena to not have counteractive. You'll have something that's going to constantly interact with Auto Reticle. Something to check her in the air. Something to make her pay the price for getting screwy at the ledge. And also just another option to keep her checked in shield. And of course, as Cody's about to show, it's just a quick way to get into a little combo. Peach can definitely pop off when it comes to those little hits. But sometimes it's the small reliable things that you need, especially at a moment's notice against Palu. One thing that I think is going to be important to, to watch throughout the next two or three games is Cody's confidence to move in the air around Palo. There's a character that's like laid her stake as the bona fide character for denying aerial space. She can do it in numerous ways, whether it's the auto reticle, whether it's the explosive flame, or the better of her options, her aerials. Like, she's denying your ability to move in the air freely. You're on her terms. But if Peach doesn't have to respect that, that's just a ton of free damage for Cody. The Honest is certainly going to be on Damon's ability to just keep Cody from being able to land for free. Peach is going to jump a lot no matter what. But if she's paying the price heavy for whenever she lands, then you're playing the matchup right. And I'd say Damon's in a good uh, groove for doing that right now. Letting Cody get onto stage for free, though, big mistake, and giving him an opportunity to pull another turn up. There's nothing much you can do there. Cody also moving very bold around the, uh, the shields. Although admittedly from above, out of shield, there's not much that Pally can do. Her best out of shield option is down air, which is a cool check against shorter characters and characters that are going to stay more grounded. But Peach is not either of those characters, so you will not be seeing much of down air out of shield. Narrative shield, far riskier because it's just a slower option. But you get plenty off of it. Just a dash attack to clean up the stocks. Okay. It's nothing fancy. It's literally a button. Only getting 22% though off of uh, Nair is kind of stinky. And something that I want to see Damon uh, sharpen up. It's like a classic like 46% you get off of chaining those Nairs together into an up air. And you get total stage control. Which on a, a stage like Pokemon Stadium 2 is priceless. the winky face out of there. No free extra knockback for you. Good catch with the up air. But we're not going to keep on sharking with it. The back air to deny the space, reset the ledge option, I think is really good. But Damon keeps on setting up these situations to control the ledge really well, but is letting go of that control. I think recognizing where he's positioning himself is going to be pivotal to just cleaning that up. Not just against Peach, but just against any character. And that's just a hilarious punish. Cody reeling back. Fingers through the hair. He knows he done messed up. Classic roll alongside each other because neither of you can do anything out of shield. Let's talk situations all around. Curious to see who's going to be the one to really adjust the swing of the momentum. It looks like it's going to be Cody putting in some numbers and taking control of the ledge. He is going to let go of it almost immediately, though. Checking with down air works against plenty of other characters, but... Palutena ain't one of them. If it's not Nair stealing away that aerial space, it's definitely going to be up air. The rising up air is no joke from Palu because that's just free damage. And at these these middling percentages, that could also get very dangerous very quickly. Oh, I like the threatening space with the forward air. The more vertical option is a bit of a risky call, but it's kind of how it goes. These long-range Peach Bombers, though, are hella risky, and I'm not... Quite sure why Cody's putting him out, but he's throwing it back just fine. Back air manages to secure game one. We're running it on back to Stadium, too. There's no reason not to change the stage. 
Uh, both these characters in this particular matchup, I feel like they're doing fine. Peach wants that lateral space to be able to deny, and as established earlier in the stream, Damon's playing the stage out fantastically. Controlling that offstage space is key to just letting Palutena just tighten the rope against any character in the game. And if you're able to deny that space that's like from the start of the Pokeball's edge out to the ledge, then you're just sort of there for free damage. This is a great stage for understanding how well your character can control space because you have so many visual cues that are relevant to the stage. Like the Pokeball being dead center stage is super helpful. You can kind of understand like, all right, you got the Pokeball, then you got the platform, then you got the metal plate that's like around the ledge and the literal ledge itself. And both of these characters do a really good job of just occupying certain spa stages of the stage, so to speak. Cody doing a good job of being able to weave between that center stage to ledge off the plat. There's a very certain flow to it, and his combo game is really solid. When he's able to go off with it, he's got it. He's got it good. It's just a matter of actually like positioning himself where he's got to play a little cleaner, but he's looking a bit more free flow than usual, which you haven't been a bit of a doubt. This Peach, this is a very demanding character executionally. Sometimes you just sort of get that, though. You press enough buttons, they hold shield enough times, you got a million ways to kill. I'll never say no to a good shield perk. We'd love to see it. And i love to see the Stitch face in hand. Cody's definitely got those, but I don't think Damon's going to give him the opportunity to actually take advantage of it. All right. It's not even a full combo, just the two-piece, and look at the damage. Chuck the wrong way. Sadness, but... It's probably for the best. The reliance on Stitch and not wanting to toss it is sometimes its own detractor. Though I will say, Cody's luck has been crazy good for getting the winky faces. I say he gets two in a row. Back air, securing the stock. Might be a little... Uh, a little late on it. Kind of worried about that Saturn hand, though. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have shields. You just really don't have shield. We're two for two on shield breaks. Cody truly letting me feast in the set. All right, and a Q combo while Saturn is just off sort of doing its own thing. I don't think it's active anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. It's free to shield for now, but who knows? We might say, oh, no, never mind. The boy's back in town. The boys are back! The boys are back! Cody taking full advantage of the silliness. The Saturn hit into forward smash. Send him up and away. That's going to be it. Weezer waiting in the wings immediately. Dang, that was out at fourth. I don't know about all that. He's looking like he's raring to go. He kind of wants to run back on that uh, guy, guy, wolf. <laughs> All right, well, you heard the man. We got to cut to a quick break. And after that, we'll come back in.